Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So as you know, we've got the JSAL and we've got the JDAM in the FA-18C. A great weapon, standoff weapons. We can shunt them 35 miles out, we can shunt them 70 miles out in case of the JSAL. But we've got no way of actually targeting them at the moment. We have to have either a waypoint set in a mission, which is only useful against a completely static target, like a, you know, a bridge or a a bunker something that's never going to move and that you know where its position is and in, in most multiplayer servers you're never going to know where that position is or you've got to have the hostiles showing up on the f10 map menu and you can go and get the coordinates from there and most again most uh, servers that you go into won't have those hostiles showing up on the map so in effect they're actually pretty useless at the moment against anything other than a kind of bridge or a, a runway or something but uh, we have a new idea here uh, credit where it's due comes from our friend kirk um, who says asked us to try it out he doesn't have the necessary plane so he says get in an a10c use the lightning pod in that maybe a harrier as well i'm not sure uh get the coordinates from that lightning pod uh of which you can find the target visually with your eyes you know a moving target or even a tank or something and uh, get the readout of that coordinate in mgrs which gives us a accuracy of you know three feet which is as accurate as we're ever going to want to be for any weapon basically then feed that to a Hornet pilot, do a MGRS to lat long conversion, which is pretty easy to do. Feed that to a Hornet pilot with a JSAL waiting to set up his JSAL uh, or, or JDAM. Put that information in, that lat long information in, and send the bomb on its way. And then we can destroy a, a target in a multiplayer server where we don't know where it is. We're going to have to go out and actively find it. And to make it as difficult as we possibly can, what we've done here is I've created a map. I've put some bad guys in. The bad guys happen to be a Grumble, as we can see here, which has a range of about... Uh, depending on uh, parameters 40 to 60 miles so I'm not going to be able to get close to this so I'm going to try and use my 18 I haven't tried this yet from about 40 plus miles away with a lightning pod to find this with with my eyes and whatnot and do the conversion then I'll jump in an 18 c top the numbers in and see if we can kill it and that means we've managed to kill a live essentially movable target without having it on f10 menu without knowing where it is uh, feed it through to the A10C and hopefully he's going to be able to blow it up. Uh, so I guess we'll see if it works. So first of all, let's jump in the A10C. We're going to start about 45 miles away from the um, target. It's going to be, I know where it roughly is, you know, I know it's about 40 miles on my nose uh, there somewhere. If we go out here, you can see we can't see it, but I know it's uh, about 084, I think it was, somewhere around there. So uh, let's go. Go there. It shouldn't be able to fire at me yet. It'll block me up, but it won't actually fire at me. T-pod. Air to ground. Make it soy. What I'll do is I'll active pause it so I can talk through it properly. Let me just uh, level myself out a bit. Get myself roughly on uh, heading 084, about there. Ping. Right, uh, so I use Cooley right along to make this guy centre of interest here. Our TGP. I clicked on air to ground there. Then, um, now I'm a bit rusty with this, so just to see how we do. We're going to use our slew, our HOTAS slew command to slew this up and down. And we're going to go see if we can find this thing. Now, I'm not expecting this to be very easy. So this, uh, if you're better with the A10, you will no doubt find this a lot easier. Frig me, I think I found it already. What's that? There. Zoom in with the DMS uh, forward and off. I have found it. Wow, that's amazing. Well, it shows how quickly you can do it if you really, you know, it just stands out really well. Right, now what we're going to do is get a crosshair right on the base of that. And this is the slightly awkward bit. And you can get it pretty uh, pretty accurate with this thing. It's, it's, you know, 45 miles out. It just depends how accurately we can actually get it. So, do a little bit of manoeuvring. Let's try and get that, take the time and get that right. It looked like a retard. It's just because it's so far zoomed in, it's really sensitive. Let's try that. Within a few feet, that's what's that between friends? That's right in the middle, isn't it? Okay. Now we're going to go to uh, control. Uh, we've got that long here, but we've not got enough digits. That's only seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digit, which is not accurate enough for us. So we're going to go MGRS. Right, we've got three, seven, tango, golf, golf, three. I'm just going to write this down. Stand by. Okay, lovely. That's all we need to do, really, in our A10C. So I'm just going to unpause and I'm going to turn around and run away. I never really put myself in any danger. A good 40-something miles away. 
Okay, so uh, now I'm going to quickly jump over to the converter, do the conversion. So let's go MGRS to lat long. There we go. Pew. This one, pew. And I don't know what all that tosh is, but it was 37TGG. And so where's my notes? 3394. Okay, so it gives us. Eight digit four one five zero three one three nine. We'll write that down. Uh, Easting four one four eight four four one six, and it shows it's here just above Cobby Letty, so we know it's roughly right. Right, let's go and jump into our Hornet and plug that data into the smart weapon. Okay, in our Hornet, uh, we're going to set our weapon going there active pause that so that we can skip time so we can set that alignment going in the meantime we can set ourselves on pre-planned so our e fuse up uh, instant uh, so our air to ground on what else do we need uh, we don't have any waypoints just let that go there quickly okay now we're going to go to our display here we're going to set our quantity up I think I've got two so uh, both stations. Set our mission up. Uh, set our UFC target up. Um, position. Lap. Northing. Uh, look down at my notes. It was 4 1 5 0 3 1 3 Ah, uh, blast. Uh, enter 3-9. Ah, stop it. 3-9. Enter. Longitude. Easting. 4-1. Four, 4-8. Four, four, enter. 1-6. Enter. Check. 4-1. 5 and uh, elevation. I completely got forgot to get the elevation. Uh, sorry, forgot to show you getting the elevation, but I did notice that it, it does say it in the teapot as well. Um, and it is an elevation of uh, feet, 50 feet, I think it was, from memory. I'm going to go with that. Enter. I think that's everything set up. 1500 feet scatter distance. Okay, let's go with that, shall we? So we're going to unpause now. We need to get altitude and we need to get height. We've actually got plenty of it already. Uh, no, we need more. So let's speed up. Check our distance. Right, we've got to get quite close to that SAM. And that SAM can shoot us. It's a live SAM. So we've got to get some altitude and some speed fast. So we're going to get our EW on and get everything ready. Okay, it's not spiking us yet, that's good. Really want to be Mac 1.5, 1.6 for this kind of shot. 40, 48 miles to target, so it's going to think about shooting us very soon. Oh, I'm in range. When did that happen? Wait, um... Bombs away, stores. Off they go. Didn't even get shot, it didn't even get spiked. So let's um, turn away to safety quickly. Just gonna notch this guy, something like that, a little bit further maybe. Uh, should be safe there. Oh, running out of gas. Crank the engines down. Okay, and here we go. Um, I don't think the SA-10 can shoot these down from memory, so just got to watch them go in. There they go. They've got a good, wherever the baddie guy is, they've got a good 40 miles or something. Speed that up. I can't see any reason why this isn't going to work. The coordinates are accurate. The elevation is accurate from the T-Pod. What else can go wrong? Check that I'm okay quickly. I am. Let's 
gonna work. It's gonna work. Boom. Oh, baby. Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, no, you son of a... Yay, super cap. It works perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Um, I mean... Well, we kind of knew it was because the theory says that MGRS is accurate within three feet. So there's not much that really can go wrong there, to be honest. Other than inputting the coordinates wrong or something stupid like that. How about that? So what what we now have is with two pilots um, talking to each other is the ability to target anything within about 50, 60 miles that T-Pod's good for. Maybe even longer. Basically the longest range you'd ever want. So what we can do now on our campaign, on our coffee campaign, is sit a guy within our base with a teapod you know view the enemies through his teapod at 50 miles away in complete safety pass that live information you know tanks anything you want pass that live information onto the um the hornet and uh, send j cells out from 50 miles away and go land pick up an another four j cells send them out land pick up another four j cells send them out completely amazing um i know we're going to get the pod or eventually in a hornet but until then um pretty chuffed with it let me know what you think and see you later